Yeah, it's in a... Really... Is it called electroscope or is it call, called... Or I'm sorry, is it called equoscope or electro-equoscope? Um, the equoscope is generally what it's referred to as. I guess its full name is the electro-equoscope. Okay. Um, yeah. Uh, and um, the predecessors of the machine are uh, the AccuScope and the Myopulse. And this is 2.0 of those pieces of information, of those, of those uh, machines. Okay. Um, mm -hmm. The... Left side of the machine here is the uh, AccuScope and addresses all neurological and uh, nervous tissue damage. Okay. Uh, the right side of the machine is the Myopulse and encompasses everything else from bone, ligament, skin, tendon, fascia, okay. uh, muscle, um, all of that. So within the two machines, you encompass the entire body uh, and all the... So this cells. is two machines in one? This is two machines in one. Uh, so it's far more mobile. The other devices are each separately this size. Mm. So it's far more cumbersome. It's, you can't really travel with it. It's hard to take around. This guy, you can just flip clothes. You know, about so they're already pounds. starting to get smaller, a smaller. little bit lighter, yeah. a little bit. Mm -hmm. And this uh, is a design that's been around for quite some time. Uh, so it can be made much smaller much faster. Uh, this already is faster uh, than the other devices that are out there. It's looking for more abnormalities within the skin. It's got a bigger battery. It lasts longer. Um, it's got a lithium, lithium ion battery in it, so it's constantly recharging itself. So one of these machines batteries will last, you know, 10, 12, 13, 15 years. Um, just depends on how well you keep it plugged in. Um, can't be plugged in while it's in use. Um, has to be plugged in only when it's out of use. It's actually mm -hmm. have a, a fail safe on it right here that will not allow Ooh, it. Oh God, yeah. What would happen if it was plugged in and you actually? Used it doesn't it allow it to turn oh, okay. on. Yeah, it, it it will cut it off. Yeah, okay. <laughs> um, it's very strong and it's using a lot of a very interesting math inside of it to uh, be applied into the body, and so it will take AC out of the wall and it will potentially put it into your body. AC. Uh, yeah, alternating current. Um, uh, and, uh, bring the top of that down just a little bit, Cody. There we go. It's okay. <laughs> just a talking, like yeah. talking suitcase. <laughs> there we go. Um, uh, and so we don't allow any cell phones on top of it either when mm. we're treating. Uh, it'll pull the radiation out of the cell phone. I've actually heard that. Radi don't radiation centers do that or wherever where they say you don't, like, you can't, you have to turn off your devices. Right, yeah. yeah. Um, so yeah, certain things will will definitely affect it. Um, but uh, it's very, very well-made piece of machinery. Um, very sturdy. Uh, I've seen these things dropped from a couple feet up um, onto cement and have them work flawlessly mm -hmm. for another you know, multitude of years. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, that's, a, yeah. that's a weird question. Is uh, Say something does happen that kind of messes it up a little bit could there be any side effects from like the wrong kind of current going out or the wrong kind of electro? I guess potentially. And I think along the lines of thinking that way, it's like, you know, if you set up a power line outside um, and everything is safe and works, you know, fine, you can stand right under that electric power, you know, line, no, no mm -hmm. problem. But if you get a fray in the... You know, the wiring up there, you can get potential sparks flying out, which, you know, mm -hmm. no longer does its natural job. Now mm -hmm. it's putting you into uh, harm's way. How, is and, there a way to detect that? Uh, and this is using such an insanely small amperage, uh, using, mm -hmm. you know, down to a, a trillionth of an amp here. Um, so which, you know, you can Jeez. almost not even feel um, to get down to the individual cellular level. So uh, any type of malfunction, malfunction at that level really isn't going to do anything to you. And there's been, you know, 30, 40 years of this t technology and no, uh, no issues, no lawsuits, no, no cases like that happening. So, nothing. Um, and generally you'll know, yeah, not, not, nothing that we could find. Uh, we've never had an issue mm -hmm. uh, with all the people that we've seen and uh, all the cases we've heard of and all mm -hmm. the doctors that we've worked with. Um, 
but uh, generally the uh, system is pretty easy to use um, and there are certain audio and visual um, tones and um, um, cues that will give you a very good understanding of whether the system is working like it's supposed to work. So you'll be able to tell, hey, something's wrong. Um, uh, Babe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I saw there's a yeah. speaker here. Turn there it off is, now. Right, right. You can close it if you want, then we okay. can downshoot it later. If sure. Works. Yeah, cool. Cool. Um, yeah, so... Why don't you talk about like what the probes do and stuff? So I have these sure. pr these two yeah. probes. Yeah. So uh, we have uh, these are al different alloys. Um, each each one of them. Mm -hmm. um, these ones are designed mainly for pulling toxin deep from within the tissue, uh, deep within the bone, up to the surface and decentralizing. You can see on there, you have these uh, black dots mm -hmm. and these black mm -hmm. smudges and lines placed all the way around them. And that's actually from uh, a human human being um, that we saved that uh, was right behind their ears and they had a lot of um, chemical damage and these probes were getting these these pullouts on them these toxins those are actual toxins That's heavy so metals crazy. that was being delocalized through the ear the body said mm -hmm. I need to push it out here um, and it oxidized onto wow. the metal there. Um, so these, so, so you just put these. Yeah, you can put those. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. Just like this, right? Yeah, just like that. Anywhere on the body. I'm knee, cared. Knee, so yeah, I'm precisely, done. exactly. Um, and so the nature of the wave as well, when you have um, two separate gel spots, which is what we use, uh, an electrolyte gel that goes along with this for mm -hmm. the conductance. Um, so you'll have a gel spot here and a spot here and then dry space in between. Well, the wave has to now dip down into the skin. Uh, which creates this pulling effect as well. So you get this delocalization of all these toxins. And then we come in, after we pull everything up to the surface and get everything uh, you know, delocalized there, we then have this alloy, uh, which um, you make the gel all connect. And so now it doesn't have to dip into the skin. Now it just has to run across the top of the body, uh, the, the surface, the skin like that, and creates this pushing effect. So everything that you've pulled up now can get pushed into... Um, the correct systems to be sweat peed and pooped out of your body. <laughs> yeah. To put a lemon. Yes, exactly. Um, wow. Okay. And that's it. Uh, there's a lot else that goes into it, but um, generally, uh, the and, and a lot of other tools that we use, um, but that's, that's the main gist of it. Um, and so you delocalize toxins and then you get rid of them throughout the body. Delocalize toxins mm -hmm. and then get rid of it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's pretty much what it is. That's pretty happening. much what it is, yeah. Um, scar tissue, uh, it will identify the frequency of the scar tissue and cut it up in the body. So you get people with a uh, locked shoulder, frozen shoulder that can't move to go over their head, you know, and have full range of motion in a matter of, you know, 25, 35 minutes because the scar tissue has been removed. Um, and it knows how to do this because of the programming. Yeah, and, and because... Uh, so with the missile guidance technology, uh, inside the, the missile chip was programmed the frequency of the things that fly in the sky uh, and, and to be able to scan and find out the frequency of planes and drones and whatnot. Um, and so now it was reverse engineered to look for the frequency range of a human cell of what's healthy, what's not healthy, um, and uh, then be able to like kind of like sonar almost as it passes mm -hmm. through your body, be able to know how much frequency an area or a cell is deficient in and then readjust and apply that and bring it back up to perfect homeostasis and perfect positive and negative conductance and uh, wow. go through all of its regular uh, processes it should. Wow. So there's a lot that's more so, to it. We can hit every mm -hmm. area of your body. We can hit the bottom of your feet, the backs of your knees. You know, we can hit every single organ, uh, eyeballs, uh, brain. I have a wrinkle uh, here that I want yes. to take care of. Sure. We, yeah. We'll get okay. you. That'd be we'll great. get it gone. Just, yeah. Just that one right there. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you don't yeah. see any other wrinkles, so you're good. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> um, this is amazing. This is incredible. Um, you know, the, the case studies that I've heard that you guys have talked about I had never heard of this before. Mm -hmm. um, and if you're telling me that, you know, the, the success rates are what they are, um, I'm very much looking forward to seeing where this goes. Yeah. 
That's you know, I, I, I hope you guys are able to grow, help Thank more you. people. Thank you. So um, where are we? That's yeah. our main focus. Definitely yeah. getting, getting human beings better, um, being a good human being to other human beings, and letting people know that there are other alternatives um, to health that are fast and effective and, and affordable. Yeah, so, absolutely. Thank you. Well, thank, thank you, so, you much. so much, Cody. Awesome. Thank you and, thank you. and Cameron for coming on. Um, this was so in depth, so helpful. Awesome. Yeah. So well, thank you. you guys. We'll have to come on like later on and tell us how things are going sure. down the road. Absolutely. Got a lot more to talk about. Definitely. Yeah. Awesome. Yeah. Well, thank you so thank much. You. Thanks. Hey, everyone. Thanks so much for watching the episode. If you're interested in contributing to the conversation and supporting the show, there's two easy things you can do. One, click subscribe. And two, visit our Patreon page where you get exclusive access to the Exploring Minds community.